Hi lovelies, so we're gonna start making something I've missed for a long time, which is Laugenbrot. It's the same thing that makes the beautiful Bavarian pretzels, but I'm doing it as a, as a bread for um, sandwiches. So I have um, a tablespoon of, uh, I got a quart cup of warmish uh, kind of tepid water and a quart, um, tablespoon of yeast, dry yeast, and two teaspoons of sugar, and it's foamed up nicely. Now we're going to add the heart flour, which is also known as strong flour, which is also known as um, um, bread flour. And we're gonna do four and a quarter one, two, three, four, here of the strong flour. Strong means there's more gluten in it. It's just the way the uh, different choice in, um, oh wait, but we need a quarter, four and a quarter. It's just the way that the type of wheat that has a little more gluten in it. And you need that for bread because if you don't, it all breaks apart and you won't have loaves. You'll have something else broken apart. So we put that aside. Then we're going to add two teaspoons of my favorite kosher salt. One, two, and we're gonna just mix that together with the dough hook for a, dough hook for a moment. I don't know why it's, oh, there, okay. And we're gonna add the foamy, uh, this, this proofing means that the yeast is alive and working. I'm gonna add that. Then we're gonna add every bit of it, because you want lift and you want it to grow, so you add this little tiny bit of sugar and all the little lumps of pieces of foam, foaming, you know, foaming, uh, growing yeast. And we're gonna add a cup of the temperature of water that we want, which is something kind of tougher to the touch and I'm used to it. it's around 110 degrees and it has to be kind of feel like your hand so if it's hotter than that it will kill the yeast if it's cooler than that it will retard the yeast so I have let's see here I have let's see a little, I'm just doing a little over a cup, but I'm gonna, I just want one cup of water. I'm gonna pour that in and wait for it to make a ball of dough. If it doesn't, we will add more flour. And then this will be left to rise. But the important part is let it knead for about five minutes and it might need more water, in which case I'll use my hand like this or a tablespoon. 
make it a little warmer. And uh, I'll show you the results and then I'll show you how we deal with the next phase. I just wanna uh, make it clear that at a certain stage you're gonna have two. It's gonna be a little enriched. Two. Temperature, and I think I need more. I'm gonna do a half, two and a half. Okay, that's about a half. Uh, do a little more. Okay, and I'm going to add a little more of the warm water, but like very little, like an eighth of a cup, uh, a couple two tablespoons at a time. We're making bread and it does get incorporated eventually, okay? Adding just the last bit of water. It's starting to come together. But once it comes together, we need to knead this for five minutes. And the thing is, from experience, I realized that my machine needs things. When it says 10, it means five. When it says five, it means three. So, I don't know if you can see this, but it's not quite together, but it's coming together and I'm not gonna add any more water. What I'm going to do instead is push the dough down. It's barely enriched. By enriched, I mean by the addition of the little bit of butter, okay? So we're making Laugenbrot, and this is gonna probably take an hour and two to rise, but first we need to get it. Oh, I'm gonna turn this up a bit. Hold on. That's too far. There, now it's kneaded. So I'm gonna let that knead like that for about three minutes. This does not wanna lock because it's my old machine, my new machine would lock. So I'm just gonna stand here while it does its uh, kneading for me. Okay, so that's been actually almost, I let it go longer because it wasn't come together. Plus I had to butter the bowl. So we're gonna turn this out. I'm using elastic bands because I've been using this machine for so long that it's not, you know, up to snuff. So I got our, our dough, our slightly enriched dough. I would normally roll it out, but I don't have the, the wood here. So I'm just gonna form it into a ball, a ball, sorry, a bowl, a ball. And then we're gonna put it in the, and in here, coating all sides with butter and wrap it for about an hour or two. We'll see how, it's pretty hot in here, so it should rise. And that's the first part. So this is what that little ball turns out to look like after an hour in a warm place. And this is my trusty, sturdy baking sheet. And this is wax paper. I don't think I've seen or touched wax paper in 40 years, probably more, longer, but it's not parchment. And there's a reason that, because we're using caustic lye to create this delicacy. So I put that somewhere safe. And we're gonna, we're just gonna cut my dough into, I guess I'm gonna cut it into half because I'm gonna use half of it for the log and broats. And I'm gonna use the other half, uh, 
I'll put it back in there and I'll, I'll put that in the fridge and it will be covered and it should be fine for tomorrow. I might actually, um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So um, th those, that piece, well, you, I'll make, uh, I'll make uh, Britzlin, also known as pretzels, um, tomorrow with it. So tonight I'm making Lagenbrot for sandwiches because I miss them. I used to get them at uh, Shea something on Berkeley Street in New York near my office and and their second, well, is that what it's called? I'll, I'll Google it and find out. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this into um, 12. So we got four here. And then we're gonna cut them in again What's that's going to be? Four. And I want 12. Well, maybe we'll just, you know what? We'll make eight. I think that'll be fine. Eight will be the right size. And all you have to do is roll them. Like, actually, I think eight is perfect for this. Because they will rise again. So we're just going to roll them out into cigars and not too long because you want them to be sandwiches and I'm just gonna plump this up and put it well I'm not sure I love how it looks but we'll see I'm gonna cover it I'm covering as I go because these are gonna do these are gonna see this looks better this is what I want to get. I want to get a kind of, think of a little of a bay seal, how kind of fat and plump they get. That's what I want. Kind of looks like a bay seal. Mine has little, uh, this one has little flippers. Well, we don't want that, but you can take some water. That's kind of how I want it. Take some water and seal that later covering as we go and we just keep going and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm done okay folks so I have my little um, I have eight I'm gonna put the seams down on the down on the bottom but I have my eight um, little baby uh, harbor seals here and those are gonna rise with plastic wrap over in the fridge for one hour that's called a retarded rise and it helps to build flavor and i'll be back in an hour with my caustic soda gloves on and goggles Hey folks, so we're about to make the uh, 3% uh, caustic lye bath. We want to have um, one quart, that's, I had to look it up because I'm in metric, but one quart of warmish water. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we got our special goggles on. <coughs> we have the vinegar for emergencies. That will um, cut down the possibility of burns on the skin. I should be wearing long sleeves, but I'm not. Oh, and this thing keeps going off, and I want one ounce of caustic lye. Food grade. There is such a thing. And this is it. Okay, so I got my eyes covered. And I also want to note that you cannot use metal. So the bowl has to be glass or plastic, and all of our implements have to be plastic, including the one that we'll be using later. And that's the story. Metal um, doesn't want to be 
used here. Having said that, I don't know how I'm gonna get this open. Okay. Okay. So we're just gonna turn this on and I want one ounce. Now it's 6.7, 9.5, and okay, 1.02 ounces. That's gonna be good enough for me. I gotta put this back on and back in the bag, because I don't want, well, we don't have children, but we have adults and they can be in danger too. And then you never add the water to the soda. Uh, this, I mean, by soda, I mean sodium hydroxide, which is lye. And we're just gonna add it to the water. You add it to the water and you flush that with water, flush everything with water. At the end, I'll flush everything with vinegar. All right. So now we need this to dissolve. And there is um, a little bit of a question whether you're supposed to be boiling this. And I've chosen not to because I, I looked at a, a bunch of traditional recipes and I just don't see the point of boiling it because it just exceeds, it, it just increases the possibility for a little bit of danger. So that's dissolved. I don't think, now I'm gonna wash that off, okay? And then we we'll just flood it with water. At the end of the day, I'm going to douse this with vinegar and water to get rid of it. But anyway, that's ready. And my breads are ready. Uh, we'll be ready in about half an hour. And I'm gonna put all this away. Okay, folks, so, wait, I only have one glove. Mm, we're going to, this, I just wanted to mention that I took the plastic off uh, in the refrigerator so that this could get a, a little bit of a crust. And so it didn't really rise, which is fine. And we're just gonna dip you know, I'm just going to do, uh, this is wax paper, by the way. I'm just going to dip like three in at a time. All right, so they've been dipped in the soda for 30 seconds. I'm going to do some cut marks, three on each one. I'm not touching them. Shit. I don't know how I can do it without touching them. One, two, one two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one more. This stuff didn't even go through. Hold on. Fact is, I'm a little frustrated because the video I just made showing you all this with the caustic soda. It went on some kind of like slow motion diatribe without my permission. And because I was using a rubber glove, it is not replaceable because I threw out the lotion. The uh, solution, as one would. Anyway, these go in. I'm gonna turn them at 10. At 375 and leave them in for 20 to 25 total.